welcome guys with some more resident evil gameplay i am here so last boss fight was amazing we have finally managed to defeat the resident evil village first boss that is lady dimitricus now we are continuing to finding our daughter rose we have to find four jars it's gonna be interesting that how this game's gonna take the level higher than this so let's jump into the gameplay Alright, so we are back. Now, the first thing Ethan's wanna do is go to the village and find the house with the red chimney. Find the man who lives there. I think that's what Merchant said. My character, Ethan, will find some answers there. I'm just gonna go straight to that house finding that house this this well I cannot interact with this not right now oh some cam fluid nice I am seeing some very good stuff here teddy bear All right, the room is clear. It's all about upgrading your weapons. So game don't get difficult over time. Because later in the game you're gonna find some hard enemies. I'm just gonna go into this house There's no one here Alright, feel free to pause this video if you guys wanna read this
Alright, so I guess this is the how to dread chimney. That I'm supposed to go in. Yeah. This is what called red chimney, right? Find the house with the red chimney, alright? I'm at the... I'm at the extraction point. February 1st, sacrifice to goats to Mother Miranda. February 3rd, offered wood to Mother Miranda. Wool to Mother Miranda. She instructed to find her a list of drugs and tools in the next few days. What for, I wonder? February 8th, no messages from Mother Miranda. Yet the livestock won't stop their ruckus. February 9th, I was instructed to take the items to the cave church at sunrise. But what I saw was frightful. The great followers were there, were there and Mother Miranda was holding a child. She whispered something and touched the child. I can't explain it well, but the child turned into a white crystal. Then, then she... I could not help but speak up and I asked her why she did such a thing. Mother Miranda just smiled at me. This is... The chosen child. She will return to her original form no matter what befalls her. Then she gave each lord a part of the crystal in a flask and then and they left. I forget to blow bow to Mother Miranda before I fled. I'm still shaking. What did she do? What is that child? The wing key is just a single piece. Three more parts are needed to make it whole. Damn it. Better see the Duke again. How was it? Did you learn anything? I found these feathers. Now tell me how to fix this like you said you would. Settle down. First you must use that key and collect all of your little roses flasks. Where are the rest of them? There are four in total. You have the one, and the other lords have the rest. Lords? 
Mother Miranda is the cold, calculating ruler of this village. Four lords serve under her. The first you've already met, the Lady Demitresque. The second lives deep in a valley of mist, the doll maker, Donna Beneviento. None of her playmates have ever come back from that dank old estate. The third is Moreau, a being of twisted flesh that lives in the reservoir past the windmills. It is said that he is not the only monster that lives in those waters. The fourth and most dangerous is Heisenberg. He works in his factory on the village outskirts. And the project. Let's just say parts of the human imagination are better left alone. If you truly wish to save your daughter, you must first gather the four flasks. I'll do you a personal favor. I've marked the Lord's locations on your map. Some treasures still lurk in this village. I'm sure each one will prove of great use to you. Why are you doing all this? Why, it's all part of our first-class customer service. Please do come again soon.
Alright, this is it for this episode. I'm gonna wrap up my video here. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.